Hello and welcome back to part 4 of our Just Farming and Contracting series. So we have some goals in this series which we've already ticked off. We were to do a 100,000 harvest, we were to do a 500,000 harvest, and we are now on the chase for the million dollar harvest. Will we get there today? We'll see. We will see. I've been busy over winter grinding out contracts, a lot of fertilization ones, a lot of cultivating. I've um, not actually done any harvest ones yet, obviously it's too early for that. We have amassed almost 1.3 million now, so we're not doing too bad. So we can, with the help of another loan, yes, another loan, we can buy another field which will hopefully take us to that million pound harvest. Or dollar harvest, I should say. So what I'm going to be doing just now is I'm going to be mulching every field I have and then we're going to get the plough and we're going to take back some of our fields so just maybe like expand them and make them a little bit easier so there's a couple of waterways and things that we'll get taken care of say taken care of we're just going to get rid of them just to grow our yield a little bit so make the field a little bit bigger a little bit bigger just every little helps at this stage and then we need to get a direct drill seeder so that gives us a bit more boost for our environmental score and yeah, we'll get all of that done. Well, we can't actually plant our soybeans yet, but we need to do the groundwork. So we need to do this, mulching, get the ploughing done, get everything else dealt with, and then we'll be good to crack on and get the seeding done next month. Now, the field I'm looking at is 2.2 million. We can actually afford it now if I was to take a loan out. It does have barley in it, which I'm fine with because we just need to rent a baler and stuff, though. But we will look to get that shortly. But for now, we shall crack on with some field prep. We have completed our mulching on all fields. I have leased this lovely plough to slightly increase the field size by getting rid of this bit of grass or a waterway, whatever it's meant to be. This one doesn't actually say it's a waterway, it's just there. There's another bit on another field, our big field, that I want to get rid of as well. And once we do that, we need to do liming. Now, I think this field and our first field next to our farm are okay. But the big field that we had an issue with last time will need done. I thought there might be an opportunity to do something up here because it does kind of go in a bit, doesn't it? And, oh no, the path is... The path goes squint. We could maybe shave a little bit, you know, shave a little bit. Every little help with us trying to get this million dollar mark. So I'm not opposed to, you know, stealing a little bit more from up here. Just a little bit, you know, not, not tons, just enough. We'll get over to the other big field and get the rest of what we're doing up there with expanding that slightly. And then I need to get to liming. Now, it is quite late because the mulching did take quite some time. Uh, we did do three fields. But we should be able to get the lime started. I've also just accepted a nice contract for spraying on field 17. And I have leased the equipment and it should be back at my farm. It's a nice another extra. It'll be once we get it filled with our fertilizer. It says it's 48,000. You do get reimbursed for your um, liquid fertilizer as well. It's just the rental cost. So we'll probably get clear about 44, 43,000 for it. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Right, off to the big field. So this bit to the left is a possibility as well that we could do. I don't think I own this bit. I need to check to see what of this bit I own. This bit is all ours. So I do need to get a chainsaw to get those trees knocked out. And then we can get this ploughed up. Okay, that is the trees dealt with. Let's make sure that we have... Yep, that's good for this. And one more strip. I know this isn't going to add tons. But it will make doing the field a little bit easier than it was. Not much, a little bit. 
That will also give us a little bit more volume for the fields. Now, I'm not sure where we actually own this. I don't think we can. Yeah, I don't think that is ours. No, that, according to the map, is not ours. That bit. This bit, weird strip, is. I just don't know how far it goes in. You would think. It would just be a straight line from here. So I'm going to get rid of this tree. Just do a straight line. It didn't come up and say it's not our ground, so that's fine. Perfect. Now, that is everything we needed to play for. We have done that bit. Now I just need to get on to liming. And getting that contract done. We'll get all that done. And then I'll see you when we are about to get planting. So we are on to our planting. I have put a worker in because I want to show you guys what I have done. We got all the field prep done. And then I have now purchased the big field. So we now own field 16 with an expected yield potential of 100%. So it's pretty good compared to some of the rest of the fields we've got, especially our one here. We did have to dig out another hefty loan. So we have another million pound loan that was at 3.9%, which is the highest it's been for a while, actually. It's been quite low. So we do have to pay 22,500 every month back. But we do have a decent bit of money in our account right now. And our soybean price is continually going up and will be getting sold pretty soon. So with the harvest of our barley as well is next month so we'll have a rough idea of how close we are to the million just after doing that because we know what our three fields are loosely going to give us even if we factor in a little bit we'll probably say 550 if our barley and straw gets us 450 we've done it if not we're going to have to do this all again for another year <laughs> but it's fine we'll get through it so that is the sit rep for now we are getting our soybeans planted Starting on the bottom field this time, just for a change. And then we'll get our field done and then we'll finish up on our big field. I'm not sure if we'll be able to get them all done today. I did start at like 6 in the morning in game. And we are getting there. We have this horse um, all-in-one planter. So it is a direct drill. It is, oh, cedar, sorry. And it's doing a very good job. It is nice and wide. It's the biggest one I could get for this tractor, really. They look more on mod hub, but this is the one we had. Yeah, we're getting there. So we're going to crack on with the plan. And I will see you guys once we are all done. So not quite a harvest yet. I uh, forgot that we needed to deal with the weeds. Now, I could have used a weeder. Well, I couldn't actually. I had to use a hoe. And then I was like, oh, environmental score will get boosted if I use spot spraying. So we are doing spot spraying, uh, which is probably slower than using the hoe. But... It will get us more money with for the environmental score if we need it. So, I do have a lot of fields to, well, a lot of fields. I've got three big fields to get done. It shouldn't take too long because I've got the biggest boom, 28 metres. And I got up pretty early, so it's only like 7.45 game time. So, we do have a chance to get our field harvested as well. But I do need to get this done on all three fields before we even get there. So, I'm just going to crack on, get this done, and then... Get into the harvester. Can't really set the harvester off without the trailer because we're doing barley. I would barely get anywhere before I needed to tip, so it's just a bit counterproductive to try and do it. I could maybe leave the trailer in the field, but again, it's going to fill up pretty fast. It's probably not worth the hassle. So we'll get these all sprayed, all the weeds got rid of, and then we'll be on to our first part of our harvest. We have started our harvest, we got our weeds dealt with, and now we are on our barley field. I have just opened up the bottom section of here. I didn't really know how to start the field, so I'm just kind of doing this bottom bit. We might go along the top, I don't really know. Just winging it, how we're getting it done. But we have started. This is probably going to take me into well into the night, if not tomorrow actually, because it's a big field and we only have one harvester on it. So yeah. We will plod away. We're at fifty percent of attack so far, and we've gone from there to there. We will just keep our fingers crossed that we are going to get enough to hit the million pound harvest. I am not 
overly confident just because the state of the field wasn't that brilliant. But we will see. We will see. So I went to get the tractor and trailer. We prepared to get this unloaded. It is now full, but I went to get that before. And we had a very good sell price for the soybeans come up. So I sold them. And yeah, that's where we're at 900,000. So now we can afford to possibly get another field. So if we don't hit the million on this field, we're definitely going to hit it with another field. So the million pound, I think, is in the bag. Or million dollars, I keep saying pounds, because I'm in, I'm in Bryn. Yeah, well, but we're determined to crack on. I do really want to see if I can get them hit the million harvest with this field and our other ones. So we'll get cracking on with this and see how much we get. So that is us just finished this mega field. And I do say mega. It took quite a while to do the whole thing. Like with one harvester and it's not got that big a capacity. So it, was it 12,000? So it's not, it's not tiny, but not huge. It did take us quite a bit. Um, and then the baling, it took another fair while. I found I had to get rid of the weight on the tractor with this baler. I don't know if anyone else has had that issue. If I had the weight on it, it put the front wheel, yeah, it was put the front wheels down and the steering was all weird. So I took the weight off and it seemed to work well. I don't know if it's because I got wheel weights. I'm just ranting now and talking nonsense. But yeah, we're done. And now to look at the final totals for this field. So we got 394,000 litres of wheat, which will apparently give us about $269,000 dollars for that at best price best price now straw we got 1.494 million liters of straw best price 133,000 dollars so pretty good i'm just quickly trying to get a calculator up on my phone so i can add this up because i'm recording this in the morning and i'm not fully awake yet that is definitely not what I meant to do. There we go. Here we go. 402,000. 402. So now we just need to get our soybeans done. So last harvest on soybeans, we got, I think it was like 560. With all the envir uh, envir environmental score we got, it did take us over 600 when I sold. But I would like to try and get it in theory first. So then we can say, yeah, we've done the million dollar harvest, in theory. So, now, I need to get rid of this piece of equipment. We need to see what other contracts we can maybe plod away and do to cover our expenses leading up to our harvest. We do have enough money, as you can see, we have quite a bit of money. We could actually buy another field, which we may do. I would like to see... How, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to navigate through these woods here to get back to our farm. Um, I would like to see how our three fields do without another field. But also I'm thinking, hmm, we want to do some more on this map. I don't just want to get to the million and stop. And normally by this point in a game, or on a map, I would have upgraded certain things and have more equipment. We don't have any equipment because we've just been pushing for the harvest totals. So... I'm in two minds whether to get another field or not. I kind of think we should, just to make sure we hit that million pound, which has our, been the goal of this season so far, our series, arts, whatever we want to call it so far. And then I do want to do some more on it. I would really like to try and get that, a few different things like that 10 million total. And then, yeah, just maybe grow this little farm here a little bit better. So we'll see how it goes, but for now, we're going to plot away with some more contracts, possibly. And we're going to get to the soybean harvest start time. So I will see you when we are on soybeans. So we have made it to October. And we can finally, finally, start our soybean harvest. Now, as you can see, our money has come down. So I did purchase a field. I purchased field... Uh, oh god, what is it? We purchased field 13. I've also got two fertilizing contracts running as we speak to just make sure that we can pay our loan off now i'm going to do this field last we're going to focus on getting our field done or sorry our first field done our second field done and then we'll get our last big field done and hopefully just with those three we will hit our million pounds this is just a little buffer you know just in case just in case we'll get cracking on now and see how well we get on we've just finished our big field and I'm just taking the last remnants of what we got off of it. 
into our silo. Now, I had to be an extension on the silo because we ran out of space. Because we obviously had our wheat in it as well, which I wasn't thinking about. So we had to get an extension on. We're sorted now. So there is an extension on it. I haven't actually looked at how much we got off this since we done our other two fields. Uh, our first field did about the same yield as previously, about 60,000. And our other field, our second field, done a lot better actually this year. I think it's because we added took those other bits out and things. So that made a big difference on that field. I have a sprayer here because I have a few contracts. I've stacked up three contracts to do. So we'll need to get those started as well. I know this might be the last episode of our getting to 100,000 harvest, but I do want to do more stuff on this map, so this is not the final. Not the final at all. Right, let's get this poured in and let's have a look at what we've got. Because I was at about 140,000 litres before we'd done the big field. Hoping this is actually over, because I, <laughs> I really want it to be over. I am very invested in this. Let's see. Oh, we've done it. We've done it. We've done it. Million. Right. So we have 269 potential, which we get pretty close to that. With our with the environmental score, we always kind of get a bit extra. So even if we get like 10%, almost less than that, we'll probably still hit this number. Not far off. Now, with soya beans, we've got 612, so we've got 275. I think we got 260 last time. So those improvements we've done did do a good bit to improve that. And then obviously we've got our straw. So all that combined gets us over just, just 12,000 over or something. We've hit the million. I am ecstatic about that. That is brilliant. So four years in, no other things apart from farming. Obviously we've done contracts, but yep, contract, farming, we've not, we've very scarcely sort of populated though with our equipment, we've not bought any equipment, we've not done anything like that. But it's a bit of a different way to do it, and we've, we've done pretty well. So now the idea is just to sort of maybe develop this farm, um, look to see what else we can do, but I do need, oh it's going to rain, we do need to get the last field done to see what our total is, because we did buy another field. So let's go and get that done, get these contracts ticked off, and I will see you when that is all done and we can review what we are going to do. So that's the last field of our harvest done. We just missed the rain, like literally just. I just finished taking our harvester back to the farm and then it started raining. So that was close. Yep, we are done. I have taken one load already and then this is about 35,000. So we'll have a look once we get back. But yeah, it's gone pretty well. So we've already hit the million. We're just going to see how much we're actually going to fully get from all those fields that we now have. Now, going forward, I do want to get this yard farm sort of actually made into a proper farm. So that's going to be one of the things I'm looking to do. And also, I would like to get our like loan paid down and try and get this sort of earning more of a profit as well in terms of can we get 10 million in our bank account. I've not actually managed to do that yet on Farming Simulator, I don't think. Oh, sorry, apart from our Let's Tiger challenges, but I've never done it on a Let's Play. So that is what we're going to try and achieve going forward. But let's have a quick look to see what our final totals are for today. We're now at 350,000 litres of soybeans. We've got 75,000 litres off that field. And it's not even that sort of max yield. So that's pretty good for going forward. And obviously a barley field as well. Barley and straw is a bit more work. We could switch that to soybeans as well next year. And there are some areas we can deal with that. And it wasn't that wasn't that peak either. So I do think this number can go up easily with another harvest. Oh, I have to take these off. But I think 1.2 is not far off what we can achieve with the current fields we have. There's a lot to bring in every year. Well, that being said, we do have quite the debt to pay down. So that is what we're probably going to look to do going forward. Pay the debt down, get this farm sorted, and just have fun farming. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please give a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. 
This is not the end of this sort of series or parts. I do expect to do maybe a couple more. Get the farm sorted, get our debt paid down. Thank you very much for joining up to this point and helping us make that million pound harvest or dollar harvest. I keep saying pounds. Maybe it's because I'm from Britain. Anyway, thanks again. See you again soon. Goodbye.